first question is going to go to Sean Fazan. Sean? Hey, Ty, I'm just curious, um, how have it, how's it gone for you just settling into this new offense? It appears um, you, you kind of caught on quickly here. It's good. Um, offense is, uh, I don't know how to put it, it's, um, it's a fun offense. Um, we're everywhere, doing everything, doesn't matter who you are. Um, like the way it seems, you know, Coach Payton, um, Coach Pete and the guys, they just try to put guys in, in positions to win one-on-one -on -one battles. And obviously we got great quarterbacks throwing the ball. So um, offense is a lot of fun. It's going well. Next question is from John DeShazer. Uh, hi, how, how have you found the competitiveness so far? It seems you guys were, uh, were, were talking a little bit today, both units, you know, back and forth. But it seems that the, the, the competitiveness seems to be inching higher and higher. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I like it like that. Um, very competitive atmosphere. Guys are just trying to, like I said, just trying to win their one-on-one -on -one battles, um, just competing every single day because um, that's what it comes down to on Sundays, whether it's man cover, zone covers. Um, you got to beat the guy. So um, boys out here really uh, really competing, even on special teams. You get, you get one, one rep at it, and uh, you got to win. So very competitive atmosphere. Questions from Jeff Duncan. Hi, I'm curious. What's the what's the vision for your role? I mean, you're going to be uh, assumed a very versatile chess piece here. Uh, how much are you spending time at running back? How much are you split out wide receiver? Can you kind of give us a, an idea of where you think you're going to be playing? I'm spending a lot of time with the running backs right now, um, but I'm ready to do whatever. Um, like we've seen in the past. Um, with AK, uh, Mark, Latavius, um, anybody really, um, backs are asked to, to even be be crucial in the passing game as well, just with the, the many routes that um, we've seen the backs run on film over the years. So um, it really doesn't matter where they put me. Uh, I'm just going to do what's asked of me, whether it's winning on a route or winning on a run, getting a dirty four. Next question from Amy Just. Yeah, the last time we talked, you were excited about, you know, being involved in this offense. Now that you're, you know, able to actually go through plays on the field, what's it like to be involved in this intricate offense? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's the most freedom I've ever had in, a, in an offense. Um, they're just asking you to win. Um, I know I'm using that word a lot. That's, that's a very important word around here, the winning. Um, it's all we care about. It's all we're trying to do. So, uh Still the same, still very excited, very happy to be here. I'm grateful to be here. Um, the atmosphere um, is is very special. I mean, every day I come out here just getting in the stretch lines, I'm just filled with gratitude for just being a part of the black and gold and being a New Orleans Saints, having guys around me. Um, I'm just, I'm thankful to be here. I'm, I'm right where I'm supposed to be, I guess. Next question is from John DeShazer. Yeah, Ty, I know you said you were excited to join the team initially, but what made you confident that you'd be able to carve out a niche into into what they do or, or what you're able to do, your, your specific talents? That's just who I am. Um, I'm confident in myself no matter where I go. Um, you know, I don't mean any arrogance by it. doesn't matter who I'm playing for. doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm confident in my abilities. And uh, at the end of the day, it's up to the, to the people making the decisions. I'm going to do my very best, and it's up to whatever plans God has for me. And right now, it's right here in this moment, talking to you guys, and we'll see what's in store for me tomorrow, but I'm just confident in my abilities regardless. This question is from Jeff Duncan. And Ty, you've played with some great quarterbacks in your career. Uh, what, what are your early impressions of Drew Brees? Uh, shoot, man. He's got, a, uh, he's got a great aura about him. Um, there's no question as to why he's been as successful as he has and uh, he's been, been in the league for so long. Um, he has a knack for, for where to put the ball, uh, where to throw it, when to throw it, um, seeing the defenses, um, calling the plays, switching the plays up, it doesn't matter. He's a, he's a very special guy, obviously, um, I believe like probably the most accurate quarterback I keep hearing. And it's time, so um, it's very special. I've, I've been blessed to play with some really good guys, but uh, Drew Brees is uh, very, very special. Great guy as well, at the end of the day. Great guy. 
Next question is from Brett Martell. Hey, it's uh, Brett Martell with Associated Press. We've noticed you getting quite a few touches in the first three practices we've been able to see, and I'm wondering how much you think that is, you know, a product of, you know, that's by design because they want to evaluate and do what you can do because you're new. And uh, to what extent do you feel like it's just quickly developing a rapport and chemistry with the quarterbacks and, and kind of uh, grasping the concepts? I don't know, really. That's above my pay grade. And, uh, you know, the Bible says don't search matters too deep. So, I, I don't know. Honestly, I can't answer that question. But uh, whenever my number's called, um, I'm doing my best. Stay in my playbook, know what to do, and just give everything I got. And uh, just having fun out there playing ball. I'm appreciate whatever opportunities I'm getting. Last question for Amy Just. Yeah, um, you've been in the league for a while, played in several preseason games. How detrimental is it? not necessarily just for you, but for other guys who are trying to crack the 53 that you don't have that game opportunity this season? Um, you just got to go out here and practice every single day and show what you can do. Um, it's one of the positive things about being here. It's, it's such a competitive atmosphere that, um, shoot, man, some periods we're not even live and, you know, you got guys going to the ground and getting tackled and breaking tackles. So, um, you know, it's tough on guys not having that opportunity. Um, I know how important preseason is, um, but at the end of the day, it's out of my control. I'm not I'm not searching that too deep. I really don't care. I'm just here to do my job. I'm going to play as hard as I can every single day, practice, do whatever I got to do, and hopefully I'll be here. Okay, we're all set. Thanks for the time, Todd. Thank you.